this is all we know. No speculatory nonsense, X, Y, and Z. Ime Adoku is, is suspended for an entire year after having a consensual relationship with a woman on the staff. Now, he did consider resigning, which I don't think I understand a lot of this. Um, however, this is the decision from the Celtics organization. Chaz Cook and you pronouncing <laughs> that last name. What is his name? Yo, Mark <laughs> <Kimper Nuzzle. laughs> Rainier. Rainier. Adoka? What is his last name? Udoka. Doka. What if I, what did I say? Ooh. Like Adoku. Sudoku? <laughs> you call that nigga a game. <laughs> Boy, fuck that nigga. He cheated on Neil Long. How about that? <laughs> That's a fact. Let's talk about it. What are what are our original thoughts on uh Sudoku cheating on Neil Long? <laughs> um uh I'm going to keep it really frank and brief. Um, cheating on Nia Long, you should have submitted it for... I said it on Twitter, man. Suspended for three years just for cheating on Nia Long alone. Um, Sage said it once in the Discord. Nia Long is a lot of a lot of people's dream girl. Uh, and, and you just fumbling that bag. For, I'm not going to lie. I've seen the, seen the VP. Probably the folded too, but that's not me. I'm not in that situation. He is. Uh, he cheated on Nia Long. Suspended him for three three years, four years. Five. Ban that nigga. Make him, make him resign. No cap. Make him resign. Um, only thing I had questions about is what Richard Jefferson was saying. Because, again, we don't know anything going on. We just heard consensual relationships suspended. Then Richard Jefferson goes and blows the timeline up, at least in my vicinity, from what I've seen. And then that's when stuff started to get crazy, with, like speculations of everything going on behind the scenes. So I really want to hear everything that's really going on. Just hear some type of update about what actually happened instead of all this speculatory crap. Sage, go ahead. My my nuts bugging right now. Oh shit. That's that um, the time warner. I say, yeah, this nigga, this nigga Eam gets cooked, and now he now Time Lord fucking with him. That's crazy. Um uh I'd say, man, first things first, again. Look, I understand chat. It's not the 90s. I get it. But niggas grew up, they were like y'all Zendaya. Is there near long, bro? Like everybody just that that name. If you get that name, you're that guy. So he he fumbled crazy. Um, he might be gay, but um, outside of that, outside of that, I mean, this motherfucker speculating shit and they don't know. And at some point, it's kind of fucked because here's Shawty just sitting here. She might not even fuck the nigga, and she just on the net. You're like, damn, you're a home wrecker. This is tough. It's dead tough. It's tough. This nigga Sage said the speculation is tough right after speculating that he might be gay. gay. This is crazy. I mean, <laughs> if you cheat on me alone, <laughs> you call yourself a straight man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's, That's the only way he could have cheated on her, right? Like he had to be no, gay. He's going to cheat on me alone. You must be a little. Let's, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let's must be clear. Get a little. And I'm that's not fine. Here to, I'm not here to attack her. I'm not here to attack her, but me along. Is mid and oh god, what? Yeah, I don't know what the faces are for. I stopped because the faces, and also we don't know what type of wife she is. Engagement partner, okay, yeah, that's okay. fair. That's fair. Maybe Nia wasn't treating home right, you know. Maybe, but it's not doing right at home. That, that's that's not even the angle that I truly want to take on. I, in all, in all seriousness, um, I I think who is the woman from uh the Twitter's not the Twitter the warrior side of uh reporting like the the sideline reporter who is that what's her name somebody Malika I think somebody oh Malika he's on Miss Andrews Malika Andrews Malika? I don't think it was Malika Andrews it was somebody though some a couple of reporters were coming out saying like yo it's crazy nasty how all we do is speculate and I'm gonna I'm gonna point the fingers at Woj specifically for what he did last night. I think trying to build intensity for this like uh for this story to be brought out is crazy with this vague ass statement. I don't know if y'all saw the statement last night. I think oh, yeah, I have I it. Did. I think I have it in my likes. Let me let That's me go true. let me go look for this real quick. He it was it, much longer. He, he could have waited until any more sustainable evidence was was put out there. Um here it is right here. In order to make this claim, 
but I feel like you know what you're doing. And and thank thank Shams for coming and clearing this situation up. This is the tweet that was tweeted out last night at 10.53, 10.35 p.m. Uh, Boston Celtics coach Ime Adoku is facing possible disciplinary actions, including a significant suspension for an unspecified violation of yeah. organizational guidelines. Discussions are ongoing within the Celtics for a final determination. Not from the Celtics. Not, not from any, not from any other source. Not, not from anything. But this is from Woes with this vague ass statement. I'm glad someone in chat caught it. Look at the look at the graphic he made. <laughs> like, his, Woj, face, Woj right? made a thumbnail. <laughs> Bro, breaking news! Man, breaking news! Breaking he news! Made a th- <laughs> he made a thumbnail, and Omar, I'm gonna let you cook. But like, it was something else I said was simple, bro. It was like unspecified. Your woes. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, like I got the notice on for the specifics from you, my nigga. But hey, go ahead. Floor is yours. My fault. I just, I just knew but, I forget. But, no, but you're, but you're, but but you're, you're right about the way that he made that too. Why is your image mid graphic? Yeah, picture. <laughs> yeah, this ain't about you, my guy. He put a picture on top of me. Man. This is this isn't even close to being about you. And then we have a bunch of reporters today speculating Twitter personalities profiles going to get the staff. I don't even know if that was the correct pictures of staffing. I saw a woman in a green uh uh Celtics jacket. I saw another woman standing in front of like some trophies. And the Celtics like banner was behind them as if they just signed a new player. And then I just saw one like a picture of a woman, just a regular. I think she was like a black woman. <laughs> she, she had on a pantsuit. Shouldn't work for the Celtics. And, and they were like, "Yeah, these are the three women that work for the Celtics. Guess who it is?" I'm like, "I, I don't know if that woman with the pantsuit on works for the Celtics." We're just saying stuff at this point. And and shame on RJ, because yeah, I understand conspiracies and stuff. But this is that same. Shit with PNB Rock. You don't know that woman's situation. Come to find out that that the woman that's a former uh, WNBA player, she's married. Uh, all these people could be married. And we're just throwing her up under the bus. Um, and now you're I mean, saying her being that, married, being married doesn't rule out the possibility. But I, I get what you're saying, though. Crazy speculation no, I'm not, going on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that it's ruling out the possibility. I'm saying you're you're putting un, unjust turmoil into a relationship. For something that you have no information, you're just pointing out, yeah, oh, hey, well, now it could be her. It only makes sense. And now, if his husband's on, if her husband's on the timeline, or if her wife is on the timeline, whoever her partner is on the timeline, they'd be like, well, what the fuck is going on here? I'm seeing your name thrown yeah. around X, Y, and Z, and she could have no, she could be blown away just like everybody else today. And for for Richard Jefferson to conclude or assume, hey, <laughs> consensual. Yeah, he he tweeted it. He tweeted it like he knew what went on, but then didn't even want to say what went on. And I was yeah. just like, "That's fucked up." If you actually know, and you're over here questioning consent, so I ain't gonna lie. Like RJ, my guy, but that was a poor tweet. That was yeah. Poor. Either blast the dude or shut up because it looks like it's coming across yeah. as if like, yo, let me just use this for gossip. Mm, yeah. Really, really think, uh, really think. Was it consensual? I don't know. This whole situation is just weird because, again, the speculations are, are crazy, and these are like damning um, speculations on people. People's reputations have been ruined over the last twenty four hours. Um, people are getting attacked personally. Their characters are being judged, possibly mischaracterized because of all these speculations. And um, yeah, th- this shit is just nasty. It's nasty. It, it isn't. Oh, he got he cheated, he got suspended, and that's it. I'm more so concerned about your coverage, to be honest with you. That's really what I'm worried about. I'm just it's weird how much like how big this shit got out of nowhere. Like that one vague tweet from Woj, and then niggas just ran with everything. I, I remember last night when I seen that. I'm just waiting for like any information to come out. And they're like, Oh, he 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 cheated on. Uh, Neil along with somebody that worked for the Celtics. I was like, oh, wow, really? Weird. Tweeted whatever. And then as soon as I tweeted that, 
I, I was just joking again, joking me and them. I'm like, oh, suspend him for three years, not just one. He is worth more than one. The moment I see that for a consensual relationship, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, a consensual relationship. Ain't they both married? What? How is this consensual? Anyway, whatever. Then Richard types what he types today. And I'm like, that's weird. You're saying if it's not consensual, left is super vague, just as vague as Woj's tweet. Richard Jefferson proceeded to drop two vague tweets today. And if you did have the information and you knew what was going on and you tweeted the way you tweeted, talking about the consent form, like the consent of, of their relationship isn't consensual, that's a bad look on Emit. If you don't know what's going on and you're just out here being messy, that's a terrible look on you. Like it, it was no win for this. Like I don't get why he did that. I don't get why it's being covered the way it's being covered. Um, and I want to say, didn't Stephen A. Smith speak on it and say, like, this is the first is this not the first time we've seen a coach like a situation like this being handled from a coach, like about a coach? This is the first you time, think this the first, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. So first oh, time yeah. we're seeing it being handled like oh, this. Yeah, like uh yeah, it's, I don't know if it's first, but it's definitely an outlier that yeah, it's being reported on actions. But we taken. all know this isn't yeah. the first time this has happened. Yeah, he also and aired out that currently, like in recent years, a bunch of organizations in other sports and even within the NBA, like is normal. He said, like, even in Boston, mm-hmm. even in Boston, that shit's going on. Yeah. I just, I just can't see how this, this infidelity has caused this much turmoil in any situation. And so now, now we're seeing uh, people compare this situation to the Robert Sarver situation, where you know different things happen. Now, the only thing I can say is maybe it's league wide or whatever. So there's a, a discrepancy there. But league wide punishment versus team punishment, which uh, there, a little speculation. There has to be a little bit more to come out because a year suspension and him himself considering possible re- resignation for consensual infidelity does not make sense to me. Uh, but people are comparing this year suspension to the same as. The Robert Sarver suspension. And let, and let me be the first to, to, to say this right here. Robert Sarver is not receiving any punishment for what's going on. That's a fact. Yeah, not really selling a team. He's just gonna get for more than he team. bought it for. Yeah. And, and right. mind you, he's not he's not even being forced to sell the team. He is selling the team under his own volition because there were talks of of uh what's it called? Oh, these sponsors won't sponsor us if you continue to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. But that wasn't mm-hmm. even fully fledged out just yet. So the idea of him selling the team under his own volition is truly something that I would never perceive as a punishment. Can't say it's a punishment. Somebody paying $400 million for two teams, two professional teams, one being an NBA team, and and what's it called? One being a, a, a WNBA team. For for billions of dollars from a four hundred million dollar investment, racism is winning, bro. Racism is winning. <laughs> yeah, at, at the most is a slap on the wrist, and if it's not a slap on the wrist, yo, y'all <clears throat> let him go for like ten years. He's already made his fucking money, bro. So that's what somebody. That's not even a slap too. on the wrist. I wouldn't even consider that a slap on the wrist. You bought. Two, I didn't even know he bought both teams for a total of four hundred. I thought he just bought the um because I seen something about it. I thought he just bought the Suns for four hundred million. So the fact that he bought two professional teams for four hundred million dollars and he flipped that to what was it one point four something? What whatever? That's the, that's, the value, that's the valuation. He'll sell that thing mm. for three billion. That's an, that's not a slap on the wrist. It, it's the same as the. I'm not gonna say it's the exact same situation. Obviously not the same situation, but it's the same as the Clippers um owner that had to sell the team back back in whatever in the mid 2010s. I forget his fucking name. Uh, Donald Sterling. Whatever name. Donald Sterling. People were saying, "Oh yeah, Force him to sell the team now. Show him nigga turn profit. What do you? What did it show him? He he sold the team for more than he bought it. He made money. Like I don't. That's not a slap on earth. You think he cared about owning an NBA team? You thought he cared about basketball? Like no. Thanks for watching. Let's keep it a buck. If you like that clip, go ahead, check out this video right here on your screen and we'll catch you on the next one.